pass it on over to Brad. All right, so we're going to start off uh, our main part of our presentation with a little bit of a, a history lesson. So I don't know if there's any history buffs in here, but uh, we're going to talk about Napoleon's victory at the Battle of Austerlitz. And back in the early 19th century, Napoleon Bonaparte had grand ambitions for expanding his empire. No single nation was really able to, to stand up to the forces that he, uh, French forces that he built. Um, so the um, Austrians and Russians formed the Third Coalition to stand up against the French Empire. And the Austrian and Russia, of course in secret, uh, chose a, a date for going to battle against Napoleon's forces, and they chose December 2nd of 1805. Um, what happened? Russia did not show. <laughs> what was the result? Austria, they, they lost the battle badly. Uh, 20,000 of the troops fled, 10,000 were killed. 40,000 were captured in one of the largest uh, single capture of troops in, in military history. Uh, and, and why did it happen? Because Austria was still using, was using the Gregorian calendar, Russia was using the Julian calendar. Nine days difference between the first day of the year for those two calendars. And so Russia, they, they showed up, but they showed up late. <laughs> and so the, uh, the, the point is, this is a real example of a data quality issue. Um, and these are, uh, and these are, these are the kind of things that all of us in the room have to address as we look at, at business intelligence and as we look at how to uh, provide for our organizations, uh, whether you're an implementer or whether you're supporting your business or your business users, the, the quality of data that's going to allow you to make business decisions and, and good business decisions um, with, uh, with data that is the, the source of truth as we call it.